Today, I'm going to show you how you can turn physical copies of your favorite Wii U games into digital versions that you can play straight from your Wii U menu. Although it is recommended that you install these games onto a USB device, you do not actually need one to play your games digitally. You can use your internal Wii U storage, also known as the NAND. You can check your free space by going into System Settings, Data Management, and to copy, move, and delete data. And here you can see that I have 18 gigabytes on my system memory open. And with that out of the way, let's begin the tutorial. Now the previous method to backup games was disk to app, but this no longer works for tiramisu or aroma. It only worked for the previous homebrew methods like Haxachi or Mocha. So we're going to be using the updated version called What, created by Machel, who also created the Aroma and Tiramisu environments for the Wii U. So in the first link down below, it'll take you to this GitHub page where you can download What. If you're using Aroma, you're going to download the .wub file, and if you're using Tiramisu, you just download the RPX. So I'm using Tiramisu for this tutorial, so I'm going to be downloading the RPX file. When you download it, it will be a zip file in the bottom left, so you will need an extraction software. And once you have that downloaded, we are also going to need WUP Installer GX2. So if you already have that installed on your Wii U, you can skip this download and head to the SD card setup. But if you don't have WUP Installer, continue on to the second link, and it'll take you to this homebrew app store where you can download WUP Installer GX2. So click on download and it will also download a zip file in the bottom left. And once you have both of these downloaded, we can bring up our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U and get things set up. So here we go, here's what my SD card looks like. Yours might look a little bit different. Now we're gonna open up the WUD zip file. Just grab this Wii U folder inside and drag it onto the root of your SD card. And once you have it on there, you can close the zip file and then we're gonna open up the WUP Installer GX2 zip file. Again, if you already have it, you can skip this. But inside the zip, all we're gonna do is drag the Wii U folder onto the root of your SD card as well. As you can see, I already have it on my SD, so I'm just gonna click replace files. Great, once you have that transferred on, you can exit that zip file. And if you go into Wii U, apps, you should be able to find WAP Installer GX2 with these files inside. And probably at the bottom, you should see wud.rpx. And once you have all of that completed, let's head over to the Wii U. Once you're over on your Wii U, make sure the game that you want to dump is inserted. As you can see, I have Super Mario Maker here. And once you have that done, go into the Homebrew Launcher. If you haven't changed anything, yours will be the Mii Maker on Tiramisu. And once your apps load, we're going to go find what? It's probably at the end because it's W. So click on WUD.RPX. Load it up. And once you're here, you're going to make sure the star here is on SD card. That's where we're going to dump the game to. And bring the arrow all the way down to dump partition as dot app. Press A. And it'll read your disk. And there we go. So under game, it says Super Mario Maker. That is the one we're going to dump. So press A on it. And there we go. It'll start dumping. Now this can take a while depending on the size of the game. This one seems to be almost a gigabyte I think, but uh, other games like Super Smash Bros or Xenoblade Chronicles, those are very large games so those would take a while. But I will meet you back when it's done. Dumping is done, so press A to return and that is all we have to do on this app. So you can click the home button and we can head back over to our PC and set the files up. I'll meet you there. And once you're over on your PC, you're going to notice a new folder called WooDump. This is where your game is going to be. If you go inside, you're going to see a WUP folder, which should be different for each game that you back up. And inside will be your actual game. As you can see, mine is GM and a bunch of numbers. And when you go inside of your game folder, you should see a bunch of app, H3, and title files. This is what you want your game to look like. And back out to your game folder, you can rename this to whatever you like, but it's best to leave out special characters. So I just like to put a little abbreviation for it. So let's do SMM for Super Mario Maker. This can be really important when you have a bunch of games and you don't know which is which when it's just a bunch of numbers. So when you have the name that you want, right click on it and press cut and then head back to the root of your SD card. And if you don't already have an install folder, just right click, create new and call it install all lowercase and make sure it's spelled correctly. Go inside of your install folder, right click and paste your game. And since we cut the file and pasted it, 
We can go back to the original source in the WooDump folder and we can see that is not there anymore. This is important because we don't want to have the game twice on our SD card as that will take up twice the space. We don't want that, especially for larger games. And once you have your game inside of your install folder, we are ready to go back onto the Wii U and get it installed onto your Wii U menu. Back on the Wii U menu, we're going to go into WAP Installer GX2. Now I have the channel here and if you do as well you can use that, but for anyone who doesn't, uh, go into your homebrew launcher or the Mii Maker and load up the WAP Installer GX2 app. You can find it at the far right if you have as many apps as I do, <laughs> as it's al alphabetical. So click on WAP Installer GX2 and load it up. And now you can only see this on the gamepad so I will switch over to the, my camera. And once you're on this page, you should notice the file that we added into our install folder is here. So I'm going to click on SMMM, which is my Super Mario Maker backup, so that there's a green check mark. Press install. Are you sure you want to install? Yep. That's why we're doing this. And where do you want to install it? So back at the beginning of the video, if you don't have a USB drive set up, you can install it to your NAND but you need to make sure you have enough space there as if you don't have enough space, it will partly install, it could cause some issues. So I do highly suggest getting a USB drive or an HDD. I have some linked in the description if you want some that work. So I'm gonna click on USB and it will begin installing. Now, as you can see, it is almost a gigabyte. So this will take longer than installing channels or smaller games. So I will meet you when it's done. And once it's done, it will say successfully installed. So press OK. And when you're back on this screen, you are totally done. We can press the home button and check out our new game. Well, new to our Wii U console. You know, we got the disc. And as you can see, it installed Super Mario Maker on my Wii U menu. So it is in there as a disc. I will eject it. There we go. It is gone. So I have the disc in my hand, and now I will play straight from my Wii U off of the USB drive. And we gotta update first. And finally, after downloading and installing the update automatically, we are on Super Mario Maker. Is it bad that I've never actually played a game I've owned for like 10 years? <laughs> Ooh, yikes, that was embarrassing. So there you have it, you now know how to turn physical copies of your Wii U games into digital copies by backing it up with WUD. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, it really helps the channel out. And if you run into any issues, just comment below and I'll try to help you out. Or you can join my Discord, which is also linked below. But anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye!